equally warm today, I took a walk to my favorite emporium, purveyors of classic hard-to-find collectibles, relics and from days now long past, in other words, Court Street Antiques here on Saginaw, Michigan's illustriously historic west side. Okay, whew, heavenly days. That was a mouthful, and that's a tip of the hat. Now, at one time or another, you have probably experienced what I did on this particular day. By the way, this is the print back here. Uh, the kitty's not part of it. This is CJ, who's going to move, whether she knows it or not, shortly. Okay. Uh, at any rate, let me, let me restate that. Now, at one time or another, you have probably experienced what I did on this particular day. Something fortunate happens to you, and had you been only a minute later or a minute earlier, you would have totally missed out on, uh, on what was in, might have been in store for you. Now, I was about to acquire a really fascinating piece of antique art to add to my very small collection. Uh, I was approaching Court Street Antiques just as a man was coming out carrying an attractive uh, old frame and an art print. And later I was told that he had taken it in to see if owner Jim wanted to, uh, to buy it, and Jim had passed on it, to my good fortune. <laughs> As the stranger passed me, I said, pretty neat frame and print. And he replied to me, think so? Well, here it's, here it's yours, and he handed it to me. Well, I thanked the man and eagerly accepted it. Now the frame circa 1870s has some flaws, but it was really quite lovely. Uh, the glass was missing, but I will soon replace that. The print is nice, though it shows signs of its age, a, a lack of care over the many decades that it had been uh, laying probably in somebody's attic or basement. There is a small water stain in the upper right hand corner over here, and uh, there is a overall browning, but still Former, former glory shines through, in my opinion. Now, being fascinated by the ancient past, as most of you know that I am, there was an aspect of this engraving that caught my eye straight away. A, store, a stone cairn in which sat a little boy and a girl. It is titled in French, see if I can say this without massacring it, Petites Bergers Bretons, which roughly translates little shepherds, and indeed the lovely little children, sheep for whom they are watching over, dominate the central theme. Now, once I once home, I got out uh, my magnification lens and discovered the lovely engraving was produced in 1876. Once home, I got out my magnification lens and discovered that the lovely, lovely engraving was produced in 1866, the artist Edward Henri Garaudet. And he was born in 1819 and he died in 1880. So this work was toward the end of his life and career. His work remains quite popular today. <clears throat> but let's take a closer look at the image. Now in particular, the dolomen in which the children are setting. Uh, a dolomen is a, uh, is a monument of two or more upright stones supporting a horizontal slab, as you can see in the, in the image I'm showing you. Now, uh, they were believed to be used as tombs, and they are of quite ancient origin. Now, these are found primarily in Britain and France, uh, though, uh, but they are found all over the world in smaller numbers, with several in Michigan's Upper Peninsula right here near me, which have become quite well known. Now I know for sure, but uh, I don't know for sure, but I believe the dolmen in this engraving is one which actually existed or, or hopefully may still exist. Uh, the uh, Europeans weren't quite so uh, quick at tearing down their monuments as we have been here in the States with the many, many, um, the many, many uh, Indian burial mounds and effigy mounds that have been destroyed here. So I don't know for sure, as I said, but I believe it probably still exists. But the dolmen in this graving is one which actually actually existed, I believe. It consists of three slat wall slabs uh, and a horizontal slab for the roof. Looking to the to the right in the background, you will see an upright stone of the type considered to be a phallic symbol. On the left hand, on the left parallel with the roof slab, you can see the portion of another phallic monument. All the elements as a whole present a peaceful and serene setting, um, 
so as uh, I was saying in the beginning, uh, a minute either way would have resulted in a missing opportunity for me and for the stranger to show his kindness. So I hope you've taken a, I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at CJ while I've been doing this video. And I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this really uh, old vintage image. And uh, I really, I really like it. I love it, and I'm going to enjoy having it in my collection. Are you going to enjoy having it in the collection, CJ? Say yes. Thank you for watching. God bless you all, and I love you much.